Target is still feeling the effects from a credit card breach, and now PIN numbers may also have been compromised. Fox 9's Bill Keller joins us now, and Bill, Target came out last week and specifically said PIN numbers not affected here, but there are some new reports tonight that suggest otherwise, don't they? Yeah, today, Tim, the sources are telling the Reuters that hackers who stole the information for 40 million credit card and debit card numbers might have actually managed to do what was once thought impossible to get those PINs required for some transactions, which is why many are now urging consumers to take even greater steps to protect themselves. Target at this point may or may not understand the information that has truly been compromised. Whether the nation's third largest retailer knows or just isn't saying, cybersecurity expert Mark Lanterman says he wouldn't be surprised if hackers got PIN information, which is sometimes contained on the magnetic strip on the back of your card. Even though I'm not personally involved in this investigation, I, I knew just from the use of the term track data that PIN numbers were likely compromised. According to security blogger Brian Krebs, who first broke the story, card numbers stolen from Target during the peak of the holiday shopping season have already been flooding the black market, some fetching upwards of $100. Think of the, the hackers as farmers. What they've done is they have, they have uh, collected their crop and now they're going to take it to market. In response to the Reuters report that the masterminds behind the attack may have collected pins in addition to the debit card information, Target says they have no reason to believe the pin data, whether encrypted or unencrypted, was compromised. But cybersecurity experts say this should serve as a wake-up call for both the industry and consumers. We've reached a point where um, the value of this information to the criminal elements is so high that they will put a huge amount of time and effort and technology into getting the information. Until we make the transition to a much more secure system, this is likely to continue to happen. Until now, Target and card issuing banks have said to simply monitor your card for any suspicious activity. But the only way to truly ensure you won't fall victim is to call the bank and request a replacement card with a new number. Consumers need to take responsibility for their own security. If you have used a card at Target during this period of time, cancel it. Simple as that. Even security experts are impressed at how sophisticated this breach was. They say what is likely be, uh, Target is doing now is reverse engineering that virus to see exactly how it works. What uh, most malware goes after the encrypted data after it is collected from the stores, something they may have actually infected the device that is used to swipe your card. Okay, Bill. So a lot of people now, since this news broke, have been checking their bank accounts. I checked mine again tonight. So far, no suspicious activity. What does that mean? Well, I did the same thing. But here's what the experts say. They say that doesn't really mean you're out of the woods yet. In fact, it is very typical for these hackers to hold on to the information for months just for guys like you and me thinking, well, hey, mm -hmm. I, I must not have been a victim. I've seen no funny business on my card. That's when they strike. Get it when we least expect it. Yes. All right, Bill, thanks.